Hello friends, greetings for the day. Today we are looking at the home tab of Microsoft Excel 2016. We will be talking about the basic functionalities of the Excel here where it will deal with the formatting options of Microsoft Excel font which you can always find it in the very first tab that is menu home and you can see the section here which deals with the font. Now this font option has all the options of formatting a value which is mentioned in the cell of a worksheet. Now let us take an example to understand how these formatting options can be utilized to enhance the formatting of our text. Let us enter a value here. It's welcome. Now this text would be uh, modified to something as bold, italic, underline or maybe given it with a background color and the text color can also be modified. So to make it bold all you can do is make sure you have selected the particular cell which you want to format and then hit bold. Now this makes the text which we have entered here as bold. Now you can also turn this into italic or you can add an underline to it. Maybe you can also have a new option here called as double underline which you usually find it from uh, 2010 onwards like 2010, 2013 and 2016. Now double underline just replaces the single line and adds two lines below the text. So let's do that here and we can see that the double underline comes. Now here we can also add a background color to the cell but subjected we just have to select the particular cell which you want that background color to be added for and in excel formatting option we call it as fill the background fill or fill color so you can drop down to choose the variance of uh, different colors and you can decide to pick one of them to add it now as you move on or roll over your pointer on different colors you will see a preview of that particular color now all you have to do is select a variant and it will be applied to it. Now this is a professional recommendation that the background fills must be light in color so that the text can be visible and that's the only fact what we have as of now. The text must be written in dark colors and the background fills must be lighter. Now we can also add a fill or a border to the cell which we have data in. Now for example if I just want to give a bottom border to it I must drop down here and click on bottom border. Now that's add a border at the bottom the cell which you have selected. To add all side borders like all the four sides of the cell you can drop down here and select all borders. Now that adds border to the entire cell. It's the only benefit of adding the border is uh, you can when you print it you can have those borders printed as a part of it. The grid lines the lines what you see now is also called as grid lines which are by default not printable. You can always change the setting from page layout and click on print here which will be printable once you select it. But by default it is not printable is just for the information that whatever you add will be printed as a part of printable part. Now I can also add a color or change the font color using this option here where you can just opt what color are you looking at. But you need to make sure that you have selected the right cell and then going to that option. So let's go for it. Here you can click on this and drop down and select a different color and you can see the color being changed and I can pick something here as dark blue. Now you can see that I've got the text into dark blue and the background fill as a light blue. Anything more on that? Yes, definitely we can change the style of the text, what we have entered using this option which we call it as font. Click on this and you can have the different previews of various calligraphy styles what Microsoft provides you. You can just select one of them and you can see the font being changed. So let us select another one here like maybe uh, brush script empty and you can see the font is updated. We can also try with some other text style which you can have with more uh, 
stylish for like greeting cards or something or maybe some more bold and having a um, little more old English text kind of thing yes you can do that so you just have to select that particular one which you are interested in to apply and select that just click on it to select it and it must be applied to yourself now the third thing what you would like to understand on the same thing on the same row is to increase and decrease the font size now there's always a drop down here which allows you to pick the variant size or particular text now you can always scroll down and row hover over the values to select or preview a particular size for the data what you have entered now there is also a possibility that you might prefer to have something in between 36 and 48 because Microsoft comes with uh, indefined or inbuilt values which is predefined values now in case you prefer to have something in between 36 and 48 you can always come on top here in the text field and you can mention the value yourself say for example I'm looking at 40 which is not a part of the list item and I can just write it here and hit enter now that basically captures the value as 40 which you can see here is set to 40 now the other two buttons right next to it is increment and decrement now you can go for decreasing the values using the decrement button and increasing the size of the text using the increment button now let's see that what we can do with it so as I click every single time the text size increases based on the items in the list and similarly here when I drop down it turns to 48 then 36 then 28 26 24 22 so it's a step by increment and decrement of the sizes but you can always drop down and select the desired size if you wish to now these two options the increment and decrements are basically used when you want to check if anything is better close to that say for example your uh, data value or size is 22 and you would like to see what is 24 how does it look like then you can go with these increment button or you would like to reduce it to 18 then you can look at the decrement button but if you know that you are by default at 10 and then you want to make it 40 then either you can mention it man manually or you can drop down and quickly move to the 40th option so this is what we have in the font we do have multiple other options for the borders where you can have a thick where you can have only thin outside borders no inside borders and so on let's take an example here to understand it better I have a predefined data here which has some information about the name of the people maybe the age of that person and the gender to specify now let us make it more effective using the learnings what we have today so to make any kind of formatting to single cell or multiple cell multiple cell collection of multiple cell is also called as range now we what we have selected now is called as a range so you can select the range if you want to apply a common formatting to everything now let's say we are looking forward to apply a border to the whole table now you can select entire thing and drop down the border from here and you can click on all borders now the difference what you would see here is I've got the borders for every single cell internally and externally both now I would like to give a background fill to the labels which will be done using the fill option here and you can drop down to see and pick a particular color for it maybe let me have some light pink here and yes I've got it now I would also change the color of the text that is font using the font color drop down here to pick up something which is more relevant to it and give a better option now I've got this done which is looking quite good but to utilize the other option that is the font style maybe I can drop down and pick a good design or style to be applied to it maybe I can go ahead with brush script and I can have it here like this also maybe I would wish to have bold to it we can include that to increase the size I can just go with increase font and I can have a variant here 
So team, today we learned about what is font formatting using the bold, italic, underline and other options related to it in the font section of home menu. Hope you enjoyed the video and definitely learned something new today. Do comment your queries, doubts, clarifications below so that I can get back to you with more details on the same and get it clarified. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel to get latest updates on the new videos about basic excels and advance. To get notified, do not forget to click on the bell icon. Thank you team for watching the video. Happy learning.